Now to our top story this evening, a season of sadness continues for a Henderson County family. Last weekend, 16-year-old Amber Cornwell was found in the closet after hanging herself. As we reported earlier this week, her parents and friends point to years of bullying as the reason for her death. News 13's John Lee is live for us at East Henderson. John, there is a vigil planned there tomorrow night, right? That's right. The candlelight vigil is 7 p.m. here at East Henderson High School tomorrow night. And in the meantime, at the visitation and at the funeral, so many friends and family in tears. Amber Cornwell's last Facebook post was a week ago, just before her suicide, asking if she died that night, would anyone cry? It was just really hard. At the visitation, the long line answers a teenager's question posed in desperation. I've been crying for days now, going into panic attacks, nonstop crying. They came to support Amber's grief-stricken family, including mom, Kim. I actually cried on her shoulder. Sierra has known Amber since first grade. These three girls, part of the trail of tears. She had that sense of humor that could put a smile on your face. Amber had so much to live for. An A-B honor roll student, a tennis player, a dancer, a member of the all-county chorus. But family and friends say bullying is what drove Amber to take her own life. They were just calling her names and, they were really rude to her. Yeah, and saying she had no future, had nothing going for her. They were really, really mean. Like, they'd say stuff to her face, they'd say it behind her back. On Facebook. They'd message her, they'd text her. I just wish I would have known what her intentions were. They hope the discussion about bullying leads to action. And start a group in every Henderson County school. Sierra says bullies have a short-term memory. I mean, yeah, they're going to shed a few tears, but I don't think they've learned anything. Wishing his friends they would have known Amber was on the brink of suicide. I'd be in my, in my mom's car going to her house. Wondering if there were things they could have said or done. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Amber's death leaves them with so many unanswered questions. But whether or not she was loved and admired is not one of them. I hope she's remembered as an amazing person. And Amber's family so grateful at the flood of donations which helped them cover those funeral expenses. Again, that candlelight vigil in memory of Amber is tomorrow at 7 p.m. here at East Hendersonville High School. I'm John Lee, News 13.